Hello and welcome uh, to another episode of the Socrato TV. Uh, for those who are new to our channel, please do not forget to subscribe. Remember, the Socrato TV we usually uh, explore, discuss, and uh, discover the hidden stories that are shaping our political landscape. So today we are going to talk about the crazy situation going down in our education system. Uh, this is very strange and. I want to be very honest and sincere. It is the, the first time we are experiencing this kind of situation under William Ruto's regime. Now, teachers in Kenyans have, uh, are threatening to shut down schools and you will all ask yourself why. And the reason is that the resources they, that they have been given by the government are not enough to sustain students, things that like food, and such. Remember, there is a given amount of money that is usually sent to schools, uh, and uh, that is what is used to sustain this uh, students. Especially considering the fact that uh, teachers are not, uh, they are discouraged from increasing uh, fee. Have not been captured in names, so we received capitation by the number of. Form force who left last year. I do know that the form force are fewer than the form ones. Most likely, the whole country may be form ones are one million plus. And then you find the form force are around uh, maybe 700 who left. The issues surrounding capitation need to be straightened up. There are so many gaps, and the schools are suffering. That is why you are fighting. All schools in this country are learning on debts. The capitation that comes to schools is only 17,000 of it. Schools are budgeting for 22,000 uh, Kenya shillings, and we wonder where does the school get the, that 5,000 uh, difference from. Uh, it is good now the ministry come out clearly on where they will be getting, uh, the schools will be getting that 5,000 so that they can be able to cater for their budget. If we have promised our institution that we are going to release funds, 50, 30, 20, as per now we are expecting 80% to hit the accounts of these institutions. Having in mind that this is the second term, whereby we have a number of activities going on in our institutions. Already the sports have kicked off, but there is no money in those institutions to run those activities. Are we going to... Now, uh, from the video, you may be thinking or maybe asking yourself this question. Isn't the government supposed to support education? Is it not the obligation? Remember, education was given the last, the biggest budget. And another question is, what is really holding uh, this UDA government from releasing funds or capitation to uh, schools? I think those are some of the valid questions that any person who is interested in this may be asking themselves. Uh, but when you continue to dig even deeper, it becomes very, very strange because this very government uh, that is doesn't want to release money to students or to schools to help schools run is the very government that is actually overtaxing people. So you cannot, you don't understand where they are taking the money, whereby they are taxing each and everything that is breathing. And as if that is not enough. There are also uh, allegations uh, whereby, it's not really allegation, it is evidence where we have seen a number of uh, mem uh, members of the cabinet, that is cabinet secretaries, really uh, living lavishly in the sense that uh, they were not living like that before. So it simply means that uh, they are now using money. Uh, in Kenya, we say, so they are using money properly while uh, students do not have money just to run for their programs, not even money for other things, just money to ensure that schools are able uh, to run their programs and uh, even 
enable them even to learn. You know, if there there are resources, books, things that are uh, usually help uh, schools to run properly. Now, uh, we may hold back a bit and ask ourselves, what is really holding these funds? Leave along the stories of corruption and other uh, cabinet sector living lav- lavishly. What is really holding this government from releasing the money? Is it doing it deliberately so as a, a to weaken people and make even education fail so that people don't re- go to school? You know, when people go to school, they become very critical and they can really give the government hard time uh, to run their mandates. So is that the strategy that Ruto is actually in? Is he up to ensure that the education system fails totally? Because there has also been increase uh, in the fees and, and people are wondering what is really happening. What what is the end game? Now, you also need to get this. Uh, the minister in charge of education, uh, that is Machogu, says that <laughs> uh, people should not worry uh, about uh, the money. And he's, he, as you, I will share the video shortly. He says that the money will be sent, and he cannot even say the specific date. <laughs> uh, he, he cannot say. The money will be sent on this date. You just say that the money will be sent. We are also very soon, eh, I don't want specifically to indicate one, giving another 30% of the capitation to all our secondary schools and our primary schools. So uh, the normal running will be able to continue in all our schools, may it be secondary or primary now, schools. Now, this whole situation arises very serious questions about the government's uh, uh, transparency, uh, commitment, and even accountability, especially on matters with the resources, uh, and in this particular case, resources uh, that are to be sent to the school. Even if they can't understand or give a clear timeline when they will support or send this money, then how how do, do we trust them that they are going uh, to send the money and uh, and how can we really trust that they have the best interest of schools and the state in general uh, when they cannot even send tell us when they will be sending the money? Hmm? How can we trust them? And also considering the fact that this is the first time. Uh, such kind of thing is happening. Can will we be valid to say that this government is really not interested, as I said before, in the progress of our children through education? Do you think I'll be valid? You know, you can you can try to answer uh, that question there. Do you think I will be valid if I say that this government is up to destroy the education of Kenya? You know. Uh, People who are educated, any society that educates people is a, a good progressive uh, uh, society. And as I come to an end, I want us to put our heads together on this. This one, this one, I want us to put our heads together and be objective uh, about it. You can also give me your ideas and even you have points of pain about what we are currently witnessing under UDA. And uh, we will actually help in uh, building uh, our society. All right. That's what all I got for you today, folks. Let me know what you think about this whole situation in the comments below. Do you agree with my analysis? Do you agree uh, that the government is up to destroy our education. Do you think I missed anything important? Remember, I'm always uh, ready uh, to continue the conversations and also learn uh, from other people's perspective. Thank you for tuning in. And remember to stay curious, stay thoughtful, stay critical. 
Peace.